Well, we got our kit opened and we started building with it. I pulled the power wires back off the battery just because I don't want to leave that on. So I'm going to run off USB power for most of these projects. But um, I think the first thing I'll show you is probably the most basic starter program that we have. And to find that, if you go into your Arduino programming environment, you need to find a way to do a screen capture for this. If you go in under File, there's an Examples folder. And if you go up to the very top one, it says Basics. And then I'm going to go over to a sketch called Blink. Um, what Blink will do is it simply blinks an LED. It's probably the most basic function of the microprocessor. And um, I'm going to pull all of these wires off here. Because all of this is a great little project. We'll show you how to wire that up and do all sorts of stuff with the LCD. But I don't want to confuse the issue of what's really going on. So I'm just going to yank some wires out here. And um, start building a slightly different process. Okay, um, I'm going to upload my Blink sketch. The upload button, um, it'll start compiling and you'll see it start to flash some lights on your Arduino board. With any luck. Takes a few seconds, the red and green light should start to blink. Oh, need to select my COM port. That might change on yours. By the way, using the board, it's the Arduino Nano with AT Mega 328 and select your COM port. It's usually the most recent one listed. And I'm going to upload. You notice the red and green light starts blinking and then you'll notice the onboard LED starts blinking on and off. On for a second, off for a second. Uh, not very exciting but we can start using this. That onboard LED is linked to pin 13 on your Arduino. Pin 13 kind of a special little pin and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a wire from ground any color you want. I'm going to put one wire into ground and I'm going to put that to the left side of any of the LEDs over here. I'll just pick that top red one. By the way all these LEDs have a built-in resistor. You'll see on every schematic diagram that you need a resistor to use with these lights, these LED lights. So with being said, I've built them into the Duino kit to make it easier. And oops, I just hit uploading. And I'm going to pull digital pin 13, which I know it's down here on the board and it's somewhere else on the nano. Don't worry about the nano. Go by your board markings. Um, I can pull it either from here or from here. I'll move wire in a second. I'm just going to hook it into the positive side of my LED over here. And so I get my big hand out of the way. You should see this light is flashing as well. You can do that on any of the LEDs over here to get them to light up. Um, I can also pull this to pin 13 up on the top. They're linked together. This shield and the little microprocessor are all linked together. So it'll make for possible easy wire hookup, you know, depending on how you want to run it. Also, this bar is a reset button. It will do the same function as resetting your Arduino Nano processor. And it'll just restart it. So if it gets stuck in a weird mode or something like that, you can hit the reset and start it that way. Start it over. So, with that being said, it's not too exciting. You can move it to a new D, move it over to the yellow one. There, it'll blink the yellow one on and off. Not incredibly exciting. Um, I'm going to put this ground wire that I have and put it up here on the common or the K, which is known as the cathode. And I can hook to my tricolor LED. And if I light up these two pins, I get green. And I don't know if the color comes through too well on the camera. I light it up on these pins, I get blue. I light up on these pins, I get red. And that, of course, has built-in resistors as well, so you don't have to bother with any of that. I can get really exciting. And let's just say, well, here's my blue. And I'm going to jump a wire to go from blue to red. And that will light up the blue and the red one at the same time, making a purplish color. So it's hard to see that on the screen. Um, we're going to do some color fading and show you how to mix and match colors and not to chain colors. I'm sure you've seen little electronic gizmos that change from one color to the other and do that. So 
that's a good way to light up one LED, and that's pretty exciting. However, we need more. I like lots of light, so let's make Blinky Project. That'll be my next example.